Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part of this envelope tool and more is what I'm calling it. I've already shown how to do some things with the envelope tool, so if you haven't uh, didn't watch it, maybe watch that one first. There's a lot of things you can do with it, and one thing you can do with it, it acts just like you can see I've got the envelope tool, but it acts like the shape tool. I can go right over here and double click on the line and I added a node and then I could go right over here and add a node and then just pull that down pull this one up pull that one down and you've got a completely different envelope now to get rid of that and it saves you a lot of time let's just back up here we did a lot of moving around and to get back, I'd have to go one, two, maybe more steps. But with the remove envelope tool, see I've got those nodes there. Just remove that envelope and the nodes are gone. All the nodes because we got a fresh envelope. So let's let's hold down the shift key. I'm going to show you something. Well, you need to be in unconstrained mode and let's go with the straight line. Hold down the shift key. And you've got that. And if you like that and you thought, man, I'd like to use that again, you can go right up here to presets and hit the plus button and just name this mine. I think I've already got one. Mine two. And save it. Then let's do this. Let's unenvelope that. Grab the envelope tool. Go up to presets, go to mine two, and it's automatically going to do it. It's a little bit, it's the same shape. It, it kind of made it smaller. Um, but there's a bunch of presets that Corel has in there. When you're on the envelope tool, grab your envelope, go up to preset. Uh, these are really different and weird. You really have to play around with them because the circle just doesn't work on most things you know you could try other things but it's the envelope tool to me is real important let's get rid of that envelope totally grab the envelope tool and one thing you can do with it is add it into shapes and that's going to be the next video but just hold down your shift key whenever you're in one of these three modes when you're in this mode it's unconstrained so you can't constrain it Let's do a double arc, hold down the shift key. And that would be, you know, if you could work that out, the title of a belt of a you know champion boxer or something, you can play around with it. You could, you know, you can grab different nodes and and uh, do it whatever you want. If you stay tuned, there's gonna be one more video on actually putting it the envelope tool into a shape. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.